Good evening and welcome to our coverage from the Sydney Cricket Ground. You join us for this T20 between Australia and England. I'm Mike Atherton and with me in the commentary box today is Mel Jones, Ali Mitchell, Ian Healy and the irrepressible David Gower. Hi Mike, thanks for that intro. Earlier I took a look at the conditions for the day and you'll be looking at plenty of runs on this pitch, not much fun for the bowlers. Beautiful clear conditions and not a chance of rain. Wonderful insight there from David Gower. Let's join them in the middle to find out who will be fielding first. The home team winning the toss and have decided to bat first. Catch! Caught, what a position to set there, a brilliant catch. Yep. Timed that perfectly. Just strayed a little bit to the leg side, and that's been thrashed away through the onside. Don't mind getting hit for runs. What's important is to focus on getting the next ball right. Yeah. Good bit of timing there. That went all the way up toward the grandstand for four, driven away nicely. The last one helped the scoring rate, making their intentions clear. Into the gap, nice shot. No trouble at all to punch it away to the boundary for four, a poor delivery. It's a good catch. Smith will be looking to make a strong start to their innings. Beautiful cover drive. A hint of movement in the air and eased towards the boundary. That's one from the textbook. Driven through the covers and they can really enjoy that one. No need for the fielders to chase it. Nice shot. And you've just got to accept it and move on. Couldn't have hit yeah. that any better. It was lovely footwork. A great shot, a glorious shot actually to get back and play it like that. Great shot. That was a beautiful shot. Rocks onto the back foot, stabs the ball away. The fielders had no chance. You can see how good this pitch can be for batting. You want the player coming forward, but it's a tight margin. Only a touch full and put away. Rides the bounce and hooks it well. That'll be four. It was wide and suitably dealt with. Don't need to do anything special. Line and length is the key. That's gone all the way, right out of the middle. Pulled away very firmly, and that'll be four. No troubles getting back to play that shot. They're on the bowlers.
Hits yep. that well onto the back foot and cracks it away. Got it away brilliantly. Just a flick of the wrist at the very end. shot through the gap they're the sort of shots that you just stand and admire gets onto the back foot and rolls the wrist to keep good looking Oop. shot back into position easily and timed it beautifully a lovely shot off the back foot the shorter ball having no joy and getting dispatched for four runs Nicely played. Great shot through the gap. Yeah. Perfect timing. The fielder could only pick that up off the boundary rope. Punch that away through the covers with exquisite timing. the edge yep. nicely played perfect timing didn't need to bother about running with timing like that Oh my, that's yeah. racing away. A really good 50 partnership. These two are looking strong. And it's going to take something special to break it up. That's going a long way. What a shot that is. Australia are 118 for three. A new bowler is coming into the attack. Too oh. good. Not sure anyone is going to cut that off. This batter really is the key now. Picking up the boundaries when they need them. Just the sort of thing that... Hits that well onto the back foot and cracks it away. Well, it's a case of blink and you miss it with this innings. 50 brought up, and what a devastating... Yep. Watched it closely out of the hand and hammered that slower ball away to the boundary. It can be very disheartening seeing good deliveries smacked around. Sometimes you've just got to accept it and move on. Yep. They may have overstepped. The captain shouldn't be disappointed by the effort, just need to adjust the run-up. Just too much height on that one. You can't fault the bowling. Sometimes your opponent is just too good. Wonderful front foot shot, and there was Avery. Got them trying to drive, but messing everything up. Right off the middle of the bat. That's gone all the way, right out of the middle. No trouble at all to punch it away to the boundary for four. A poor delivery. Wait, yes. A direct 
kept it and this could be gone. Gone, brilliant in the field. Doesn't yep. want to bowl it there. Overpitched and helped to the boundary. Nearly got through them. Just got onto it in time with enough bat speed to pick up four. Sounded good the moment it hit the bat. No worries on that, to use a very Australian expression. Cut away with precision. Yep. Out. Caught. Hold on. Gone. Brilliant caught and bold. Start to get your first runs. Four runs in fine style off the front foot. Nothing really wrong with the delivery. Got onto the front foot and found the space to get that one to the boundary. We thought it might be a good pitch to bat on at the start of the day, and we were right. It was a long, hard slog from the bowlers, and now it's a big total to chase down. A couple of big partnerships will be required to get these runs. Yeah, yeah. Great work. Didn't look like getting anywhere near that initially. Four overthrows. The throw was unnecessary and, as it turns out, pretty costly. All to go for the wicket. There was minimal follow-through, just great timing to punch it through the field. Lovely yep. timing. Will this one go to the fence? All the signs that they're reading the ball well. Guided it away off the back foot to the boundary rope. Couldn't have played that any better. Read that really well. A fantastic back foot shot that's raced through the infield and straight to the boundary. Yeah, yeah. A really good stroke, this. Pretty good bouncer, very quickly into position. There was no need to run for that. Gets onto the back foot and powers that away for four runs. Yep. Nicely played. The timing on that shot was just perfect. Brilliant shot. This is everything. Crying Wolf is not the best approach. It'll just annoy the umpire. Winning. Yep. Oh no, that's dropped. Just pivoted onto the back foot. So easily done to knock it behind square. square yep strokes it languidly away to the fence a lovely shot found the gap with ease wasn't the worst ball you'll see but it's still raced to the rope do they go full do they go short a lot to ponder after the boundary yep. struck it nicely could go to the boundary Solid partnership, 50 so far. Now it's time to really build a big score. Yes. 
That's great fielding. That ball was flying. That was a very foolish throw. No chance of a run out. A great shot. That was a boundary the moment the ball left the bat. Can't time that. Four runs in fine style off the front foot. Just need one of the cameramen to send that one back. A little bit of width, but... Call either way, might be worth risking a review if they're right. Certainly no issue with the line. Not hitting a thing ends up wasting a review. One hundred and fourteen for none. Yes. Lovely timing. Will this one go to the fence? Through the hands at it. Got it early, but enough on it to get four. Don't mind getting hit for runs. What's important is to focus on getting the next ball right. Can't get that outside the ring field. Maybe they didn't pick it up. Very late on the shot. that away nicely well it was hammered away timed perfectly and placed it edged unplayable maybe they didn't pick it up very late on the shot Collects that one, simple as you like, inside the ring. Amazing delivery. Yep, yep. Placement exquisite. That went all the way up toward the grandstand for four, driven away nicely. Yep. Crashed away. What a shot. All the signs that they're reading. Yes. 
massive edge. A boundary off. Yep. That's right out of the middle of the bat. You could see by how it whistled away to the boundary, just... Hazelwood, given the ball for this final over, they'll need to bowl well here to win this one. Yep. Confident appeal, could it be? There's a real feeling of disappointment. Extremely comfortable win, just so brilliant on so many levels.